Boom, we're live. This is Tio and the Arcane Bear. I wanted to go over the recent podcast that Elon Musk and Joe Rogan had done. First off, a shout out to Joe Rogan and Elon Musk. I like both of them. But in the court of public opinion, the Bear family had been asking me what I thought about it. And let's dive into that right now. So first off, I, I really like Elon Musk and Joe Rogan. They are two leaders of industry. Um, and, and here you can see, let's take a quick look at this video. Um, Joe Rogan's asking Elon Musk if he's ever smoked before. How does that work? Do people get upset at you if you do certain things? There's uh, tobacco and marijuana in there. That's all it is. Well, first off, tobacco and marijuana, I agree with Joe Rogan. That is a wonderful mix. It is delicious. The way it burns and smokes. Oh, my God, the spliff is something special. If you happen to be a fan of smoking both ganja and tobacco. Now, <clears throat> the look on Elon Musk's face here, you can obviously tell that this is not a regular occasion for him. And in fact, he's probably just really trying to make Joe Rogan feel comfortable. Like, hey, cool, we're smoking together. We're hanging out. We are friends. He even states later on in this interview here that, uh, you know, it's not something he normally does and he thinks it's to cre decrease his productivity. Almost never. Never smokes weed. No, of course not. Why Why would he need to? Uh, I mean, it's, it's... I don't actually notice any of... So... What, what is noticeable here is one of the first questions that Joe Rogan asks is how do people uh, perceive Elon Musk if he were to do things like this? And at the heel of this event, Tesla actually crashed 5% today or 8% today as two of its senior executives quit just hours after the electric car maker uh, showed up on the TV show with Joe Rogan. Um, uh, sorry, the live streaming show with Joe Rogan. Now, I don't think he should be getting flack for this. Most of the entrepreneurs that I know actually do better when they smoke ganja or take some type of psychedelic, not all the time, but it helps open the mind to answer questions that are quite difficult. Now, so here we see, obviously, the effect of Tyler Durden for, obviously, uh, I didn't realize this, but Tyler Durden is the character name from Fight Club. Should have known. Uh, but he says, easy come, easy go, as Tesla loses 10% of its biggest spot in the last two years. Now, this is coming off the heels mostly of their chief financial executive quitting. Uh, so he says uh, he's just one month into the job. His departure came from uh, the last week resigned um, the company spent a couple of months in re-looking to fill this position uh, with the end of the year with Morton. But wait, there's more because not long after Gabriel Toledo, the company's chief people officer, said it was taking a leave of absence and told Bloomberg. So these price drops are the court of public opinion. And we saw that with Nike recently and the Colin Kaepernick uh, idea. So regardless of what side you might think you're on, and I don't think there is a right side to history, mind you. Uh, history is not determined by the winners or the losers. Uh, it's... It, its perception years, years later is up to us to really decide, you know, was this a smart thing or not? Like, obviously, the America's uh, kind of removal of the indigenous people and, and the native people of um, the United States, it should it be considered a war crime, yet there's no one to put on trial. There's no way to really have recourse for any of these ancient events, whereas this is the court of public opinion today, and we see almost instantaneous reactions in the two together. So I just wanted to dive in and go over this because I thought it was really interesting. I think what's interesting is that people's uh, perception can have so much over the value of something. And I've stated this so many times in the blockchain and Bitcoin space that people's perception determines the value of the things that we're interested in looking at. And just like this, Elon smokes some ganja, something I actually give him props for doing, and the court of public opinion decides to throw him into the shredder. Now, I believe that this man is smart enough and capable enough to pull this company out from the, the depths of almost anything. And I believe going private was a smart idea for exactly this reason. So if you're new to the Bear family uh, and you like this content, remember to throw us those thumbs up, pound that subscribe button and hit the little bell. That way you guys will be notified anytime we produce a video. And really one of the main things I want to know is what's your thoughts? Would you have given uh, Elon Musk a thumbs up or a thumbs down for his pot smoking? I actually think he took, to, took it like a champ. I'm going to be diving in and watching the rest of that Elon Musk and Joe Rogan video because Joe Rogan is one of my favorite podcasters. He's one of the reasons why we started the Arcane Bear. And anyone who inspires long-form intellectual conversation, regardless of if they're right or wrong, I think deserves two thumbs up or a million thumbs up for, for Joe Rogan, uh, most likely. Uh, it's changed the landscape and on one of the very first podcasters that proved that you could be curious and push the conversation further and grow with your audience. And I think that's the, the proper way to do it is that I know I'm not always right. 
So through these, these journeys together of being able to have different PhDs, scientists or CEOs, high level executives on the show, we get to go through the process of being curious about what it is, how it is, why it is they do things and ask them questions and grow as a community. So I'm a big fan. I give them thumbs up, but let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. This is Teal with the Arcane Bear. We're going to be signing off for the rest of the evening or day and we'll see you guys on the other side. Boom.